Hi everyone, this is Shauna Teresa, Rayx Executive Officer, and this is my desk. In this monthly video cast, I go over questions that are coming across my desk every single day so we can have much smoother real estate transactions here in York and Adams counties. The topic that I wanted to cover with you today is to talk about the York County Tax Assessment Office updating their assessment records after the sale of a home. So the York County Tax Assessment Office has been doing a comprehensive review of the county tax assessment records and they're cross-referencing those records with recent sales. And in some cases, they are updating the assessment value on the property because they became aware of improvements that were made on the property. And as a result of those improvements that were made on the property, it increases the overall assessed value on the property moving forward. So REAC wants to make sure that we bring this information to your attention and to help clarify or answer any questions that you may have. So probably the first question that you have about this process is, isn't this spot assessment? Isn't doing a reassessed value of the home at the point of sale considered spot assessment? Well, according to the York County Tax Assessment Office, it is not considered spot assessment because it's not triggered by the sale of the property. It's triggered by the new knowledge that there have been corrections to that tax assessment record. So it isn't because it sold for a higher price that caused the increase in the assessed value. It's because there were improvements on that property that weren't reflected in the previous assessed value. So for an example, something like there was a finished basement that was done on the property. The old tax assessment record did not have a finished basement on its tax card, and therefore the increased square, livable square footage in the property went up, which caused an increase in its overall assessed value on the property. So they are saying um, as a result of a court case that was done in Pennsylvania that the county tax assessment offices have the right to correct their records to make sure that they have the most accurate records as possible. And the York County Tax Assessment Office would also want me to know that it does go both ways. There has been cases where um, as a result of this comprehensive review of the properties that they are finding that some properties had an increased square footage on the tax card that it was in actuality because they included the loft area as part of the livable square footage and as a result, they decreased the livable square footage when they were, became aware of it and it resulted in a decrease in the assessed value on those particular properties. So I guess some of the main questions are, what triggers this assessment? So when you make improvements on your property, many municipalities require that you get a building permit. Now, some do not. There are uh, municipalities who do not require building permits, but per municipal regulations, you most likely have to get a municipal building permit in many of the cases when you're making improvements on your properties. The municipalities have a fiduciary obligation to share that information with the York County Tax Assessment Office so that they can update their tax records and um, the assessed value if necessary as a result of those improvements. Well, over the years since York has done a reassessment back in 2004, there have been improvements that have been made on properties where the property owners either didn't pull a permit or they weren't required to pull a permit by the municipality. So the York County Tax Assessment Office wasn't aware uh, that there were improvements made on the property and therefore their records are now inaccurate and don't reflect the um, current condition of that property. So when they're looking at those recent sales of the properties, they're looking for discrepancies between the uh, current assessment card and what's currently available on the property and if corrections need to be made they do so. So things like a finished basement could cause an increased tax assessment, things like um, adding on an addition, um, a shed, um, you know, uh, adding an additional half bath. So they're looking at the bedroom bathroom counts to make sure that they match, etc. 
on making corrections as such. Now, the big question is, can the property owner file an appeal? And the answer is yes. So they have a right to file an appeal and there is no appeal fee with they make that appeal within 40 days. However, before proceeding with any appeal, we always advise that those property owners should get the guidance and advice of a certified Pennsylvania appraiser to weigh whether or not the cost benefit analysis of getting that appraisal that you need to file for that assessment appeal will be worth the potential decrease in assessed value and the cost savings and taxes. So make sure your um, potential clients who are getting these increased tax assessment bills are getting the guidance and advice of a certified Pennsylvania appraiser before they move forward. So what advice should you give to your clients? So when you're working with buyers in York County, you specifically want to let them know that the York County Tax Assessment Office is potentially looking at those recent sales and making corrections on those uh, property tax cards and it could result in an increase in their overall assessed value. So if you look at the tax card and you see that they don't have a finished square basement included in the tax card and the property now has a finished square basement in the property, there's probably a high likelihood that they're going to get an increase in their assessed value and they should be prepared for that. So we know that it, with everything that's going on in the current real estate market, with the median sold price being up, interest rates being higher, that the affordability of our buyers is of a prominent concern. And many of our buyers are also you know, being pushed to ensure that they're able to pay their property taxes as well. So getting that unknown property tax bill assessment going up that they weren't planning for is something that we as realtors should make them aware of so that they can plan accordingly in the event that the house does actually get a higher assessed value. So you should tell your clients that this is a possibility. After they purchase the home, if they receive any communications from the tax assessment office, do not ignore them so that they have an opportunity to make sure if they want to file an appeal, they have enough time to do so. So another question that I get, how often is this happening? So we've looked at an analysis of the properties that sold in June that were priced above $175,000 in York County. So just the sole month of June, 36% of them received a new assessment as a result of that purchase. So about a third of the properties that are selling are getting these notifications from the tax assessment office because improvements have been made on the property that weren't previously reflected on the tax card. So this is extremely important that you're sharing this information with potential buyers in our community. The other question that I've been getting, so what has been the average increase in the property tax bill that they have received? So in our analysis of those properties that just sold in the month of June of 2023, for those that received a new tax assessment, it equated to property taxes of anywhere from $16 increase annually to up to $2,000 annually, with the median um, being $256 annual increase in their property bill, property tax bill. So of course, it's all dependent on, we have 72 municipalities, 16 school districts, who all have different millage rates out there. So it's depending on the location, what improvements were made on the property, et cetera. But on average, the average increase in the property taxes was $256 annually um, that the new buyers are going to have to pay moving forward. So I know that for many of you, this is brand new information and you haven't heard of this before. That's why we're trying to get it out there in as many avenues as we can so that we can educate our prospective buyers and new homeowners in our community so that they can be prepared if they do receive that new tax assessment bill. So with that information, um, if you have any questions about it, please feel free to reach out to me uh, because my doors and ears are always open to you. Thanks so much and have a wonderful day.